I don't know why I always come to you guys looking crazy, but <laughs> we in here. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? Okay, so I don't know why I always come to you guys looking crazy, but we are in here and I totally, totally, totally missed you guys like so much. You don't even understand. I feel like there's so much footage that I have to share with you guys and I'm going to um, upload my wedding videos, but I think I'm going to do a wedding like recap, kind of showing you guys pictures, telling you guys about the day. Um, and I don't know you guys let me know down below exactly like what you want because I don't even know how I want to do it I am going to upload a um, Wedding videography type of style video for you guys too and um, I did have a pandemic wedding I postponed my wedding and then had another like and had it on August 1st so yeah, a lot has definitely went down and it turned out to be beautiful. It was almost like the pandemic did not even exist. And I'm so, 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 so thankful. I have so much favor and gratitude. I can't even express it. But um, in the midst of all of that, because you know your girl is extra, um, I moved out of my salon and I need to decorate it. I have no clue what to do and I'm tired of staring at gray walls. Um, I moved into another suite. Um, for pricing reasons as well as the size is a little bit bigger than where I was at now or where I was at previously um, Yeah, so I moved out of the salon the same week of the wedding. I don't know why I did that I'm literally a crazy person. So this is what this is the entrepreneurial life This is what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the type of things that you have to put up with and sacrifice Yes, I was tired. So it was really hard for me to like vlog because your girl was literally like tapped out and exhausted and then i also wanted to live in a moment you know live in our moment um being married and um enjoying our family and it was really hard for me to vlog like i wanted to because i guess i didn't really want to like i just wanted to be there i wanted to be in the moment and i feel like a lot of times people are so like wrapped up in wanting to get footage that you miss out on the important things which is your family so yeah, so right now I'm like trying to figure out what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna go to Michael's, try to figure out um, how I want to design my salon, or I should say my suite. I definitely want to do a green wall and as well as a flower wall. So um, yeah, I'm not sure like what exactly I want to do. If you guys have any ideas, definitely leave me a comment down below. But yeah, as you can see, I feel like I sound like overwhelmed already. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I'm really nervous about going back to the salon. I did have two appointments this past weekend, but I'm just nervous because I feel like, I'm just hoping that people come back. Like I'm hoping that I get booked with appointments. Like, and I know this is gonna like literally be all in my head, but this is really just like the reality of everything. Like just, I'm just nervous. Like I don't wanna fail. And I also know that if I do fail, that's okay too. But failing is not an option, right? Failing is not an option. But I guess it's just like, I'm just in my head. And I think since I haven't worked in two weeks, I feel, I don't know if the word is discouraged, but I'm just nervous. Cause I don't know what to expect. Meanwhile, like I still have favor because somebody booked an appointment last night. So I don't know. <laughs> But let's get the day started. I need to jump in the shower because I did come to you guys with stinky breath, stinky face, stinky body. So I'm going to jump in the shower, get ready, and then we're going to go to Michael's, okay? Hey, guys. So I um, threw on some clothes. I need to retwist so bad. Like, it's not even funny how bad I need to retwist. And I just threw on some, like, clothes. I need to work my legs more because... I want my legs to be a little bit more defined because baby that right there that ain't it um yeah so i'm gonna go and attempt to do a brick wall on my salon wall but i also need like sticky tape too so i don't know we'll have fun with it and see how it all works out okay guys so i'm in the salon with mama t what's up <laughs> I don't know why she uses the voice, but I we had did this wall. Oh, y'all got a wipey wait. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, so we had did this wall. Um, where did we do this wall? Last week. Last week. So it was. It wasn't really that difficult. It took us a while to like 
figure it out. But then once you got the hang of it, it was pretty easy because I was struggling. My mom said that I was like, how was I straightening my neck? <laughs> so, the, so the next day I had like this serious like headache. It was so bad, like, oh my gosh, like I had a migraine. And then I repurposed the love is sign. You guys seen that in my office at home. And I also use that for the wedding as well. So it's called a repurposing, that's what you do. So. I had did this geometrical wall and I'm actually gonna like take it down because this it was done with like the washi tape, but it's not sticking. So my mom and I are gonna do a full brick wall using temporary wallpaper because at the end of the day, that's more, you know, convenient. So yeah, so I'm gonna take this down and we're gonna put up the wall. Okay, so it was actually a lot of fun putting this up, but unfortunately, because of the humidity in the room, as well as just being in Florida, it's raining season, and you guys know about the humidity here, it's crazy. So the tape started lifting, and it was driving me absolutely nuts. So I was like, yep, this isn't gonna work. So yeah, so I'm just gonna take this down, and then we're gonna get started on the brick wall. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. Meditating and taking time away. You always posting a picture. All right, so I feel like I should give you guys a little tour. It looks a mess right now, but I have this stuff here, and then the flower wall here. I'm gonna put like sh invisible shelves up here to put like little knickknack stuff on there. Not sure what I'm gonna do right here, but the brick wall is gonna cut all here I think or should mom should we take the brick wall over here what? or no we'll should we do the whole wall no just this wall yeah okay and mama T had grabbed the but that it's not gonna be in there because you know why because that piece that was on the counter that we didn't grab it's right here. oh gotcha gotcha Okay, so I thought that I could do this wall by myself, but guys, if you were putting up any kind of like temporary wallpaper, I highly, highly recommend that you get someone to help you because trust me, you are going to need the help. So right now what we're doing is measuring out the wall. My mom is holding it steady for me while I am trying to, um, you know, stick it at the very very top of the wall we're both like little shrimp people so this was a very entertaining to watch i wish i could put the sound on but unfortunately i'm playing like copyrighted music in the background because my mother and i were literally bickering the entire time Now, all the information will be listed in my description box if you're interested in where I got this from. I got it from Lowe's, but I'll have the direct link for you guys as well as the little squeegee and the um, little knife that it came with as well. Just so that way um, you know exactly what you need if you are interested in applying this wall because you will need a Ouija. I think that's what it's called. This little thing I'm using, this blue thing. Um, you definitely need one or you're going to have air bubbles and it gets rid of all of those little air pockets that you will end up having. And you will have it if you don't get this little thing, this little Ouija squeegee thing. Now the little Zacto knife that it comes with, I'm just, I don't even know if I'm making this stuff up. I don't even know if it's called a Zacto knife, but that's what it's going to be called in this video today. But once you get the little knife, you're able to cut around any like electrical things that you have on your walls, etc. It just makes it a lot easier as well as when you are trimming the bottom of the wallpaper to cut it to match your wall. You're definitely going to need that Zacto knife. So, we finished the wall, guys. Um, it's perfect. Um, yeah, we ran out of rows. We only had one row, so we just need to finish this side of the raw the wall. <sighs> yeah, so my mom's ready to go. You all right? You ready? <laughs> so, we're about to head out. Meet you guys at Lowe's. We made it to Lowe's. Oh my God, they got more. They restocked. Ain't that about a bowl? That's crazy. They restocked, y'all. This is what we need. So this is the wallpaper that I ended up getting to make it. And yeah. So it costs $44 for one roll. Which isn't too bad, but 
Yeah, when I came the first time, guys, I didn't even have all these. So I'm kind of pissed that they have this many now. But it's all good. Mom, what you looking at? Yeah. So I'm gonna grab some command strips and then we'll go back to the salon and put it back up. Okay guys, so we finished the wall. I'm super pleased with it. It's been definitely a long day. We literally went to Lowe's like five, not to five times, but three times. Two, three times? Two times. Two times. And this is the wall. It's super duper cute. Let me turn the camera just so you guys can see it. This is what the wall looks like. So it's a nice brick accent wall. I think it's perfect. So I'm very pleased with it. So now we're about to clean up because it's late, it's seven o'clock and we need to eat. So we'll see you soon. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I really love the way that it came out. Let me know down below if I should do the, the, like the full wall or if I should just leave this accent wall. Okay guys, so that pretty much finishes up this vlog. I am so sorry. I feel like I've been all over the place with this, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update, let you know what I've been up to, let you know what I've been doing with the salon, moving, all of that fun stuff. But if you live in the Tampa area and you're looking for someone to do your lash extensions, get tattooed brows, uh, lip fillers, all that crazy mess, anything related to beauty, makeup application, hit up your girl. I'll have all my information down below. But make sure you tune in all week because your girl is gonna be posting. I gotta get back on my schedule, so I'm trying to get at least three videos up this week, starting with this one. So then that will be four videos this week. Sunday starts a week. I'm about to edit this and get this up to you guys right now because I love y'all. But you guys know what I always say. Until next time, deuces. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna.